Hello, hello, lads and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of East Nine Monster Knox. Right, let's talk to Doji. I have ideas. As if the knights alone weren't enough to deal with. Hey, at all? This was the bulletin. Was on the bullet board, but. I'll get you up to speed if you missed it. So, Margaret left a letter before disappearing, without a word. We think that the Resistance is planning something. I was just on my way to talk it over with Parks. It'll be great if you could join us, but only if you have time to spare. It's my problem too. I'll join you. No. At all. You're a real pal, you know that? Alright. Meeting's about to start. Can I always use another head to pitch in? Well, Mary, alright? I can't believe they would choose now of all times to start a resistance. What are you doing, Margaret? Or maybe it's because it's the perfect time? They're hitching a ride on a Knight's Rebellion. Rumans won't know what hit them. <laughs> Letting the old hag run free was... Run free really... Bit us in the ass, huh? I guess it did. I do not believe that Margaret is the one who is... Initiating this plot. I spoke with her at length about the burglaries in the Noble District. I investigated myself and discovered that the initial structure of the Resistance is muddled. The Margaret was imprisoned three years ago. The younger members ceased to hum in secret. The recent thefts and schemes have been parts of what they call public awareness campaigns. Their objectives was to accumulate capital and purposefully imprison themselves to release Margaret. So they commit those crimes knowing full well they were going to be caught? That's just what it's like when uh, we got something to believe. They're brewing up something big. So that would, uh, well, be well within the realms of possibilities. I wonder what they're going to do. I wonder if Margaret is trying to stop them. Hmm. A bunch of thugs from the bygone area era. Reduced to begging for scraps. We can't just uh, underestimate them. They were the ones who started the revolt against the Rumans three years ago. The city already in the city's already in panic. We need a diploma diplomatic solution. The last thing we need right now is to mar out relationship with Rumen. The Knight's Revolt has already begun pulling a precious threat on Kilia. 
then we got more than one reason to stop this. But how are we supposed to do that? We have no idea where they're hiding and we don't know where their plants are. Actually, we might. Margaret was kind enough to leave a trail of uh, breadcrumbs for us. These locations may be of interest to you. Visitors kiosk at the main gates, back alley pub in the central district, old timer at the main square baths. These are all places where the resistance may be. It's too soon to know for sure. Only way to find out is by going ourselves. Sorry for putting you guys up to this. Just do what you can, even if it's just dropping by. We'll be on the lookout for intel. Gotcha. Alright, cool. Oh yeah, I guess I could potentially upgrade yeah. my weapons, right? I'm ready and raring to go. Just leave it to me. Time to show off my skills. Time to show off my skills. Okay, I need some spirit lumber to increase hers. Let me know if you need to come back any time. Sure thing. Okay, do we have anything else here? Well, there wasn't a lot though. Two quests. Alright. So, where should we check first though? It was the kiosk. I think that is the closest one now. Oh, hey there. Davids, welcome to the vis visitor's kiosk. Huh? Wait, where's the usual guy? Isn't it usually Alex shift right about now? Um, who can say? Devd. Just called call up to fill in. It was pretty out of the blue. Guess they just couldn't get a hold of him. And this was supposed to be my day off too. Like, give me a break, Devd. Barely. Sorry to hear that. Doesn't this mean what I think it does? Has anything been off with him lately? Has he told you anything? Off? Hmm. Well, actually... 
now that I think about it, yeah. This guy's been stopping by the kiosk a lot lately. Looked like a shantytown resident. Never seen him myself, but he seemed to be an acquaintance of Alex's. Apparently they uh, kept talking about some sort of preparations or something. Alex seemed kinda against it all. Kept asking if the guy was really going through with it. Must be some birthday party we're planning, huh? Dev. Wonder whose is this? Going by the note we got, this likely has something to do with the resistance. They must have been taking. Talking about the preparations for making the move today. But doesn't that make Alex one of their members? I had no idea. And one working right by the main road too. Nice got guts. Well, it's clever to hide in plain sight though, isn't it? Uh, are we? Done here, Devs. And we've kind of got a job to do. Oh, right. Sorry about that. Uh, thanks for your time. Alright, so. Who lend her treasure? Okay, let's just... Okay. Is something the matter, miss? You look a little down. Oh, you're all from the dandelion, right? I'm just ripping about one of my regulars, this guy named Gaston. He showed up last night just before I closed up shop. He told me. It might be his last time here before paying off his tab and walking away. Huh? That does make you wonder. Doesn't it? Come to think of it, there was a rumor he got tangled up with some indecent recently. In incident recently. He hadn't shown up ever since. Not until last night, that is. Aston, that's the name of the thief who targeted the Noble District warehouse. That's right, the one who got away in the end. Did Gaston say anything else to you? Hmm, well, not to me directly, but he did mumble some stuff as he was leaving. Things like, this show the rumors, and uh, can't let it get damp, whatever that means. Hmm, not exactly. <laughs> Clean. What he was planning for that alone. But with what he's already done, it sounds like we hit a mark hit the mark. 
He must be involved in all this. Marking maggots into taking maggots into into account. It's best we assume he's playing a big part in all this. Still, just like Margaret, we got no idea where he actually is. Listen, Gaston's from the shantytown. He's had more than his fair share of fights in room with rumors, but he has his good sides too. He's looked out for me ever since my husband died. I don't know what he's up to, but do do something for me if you happen to see him. Just tell him to think before he acts, that's all. Sure thing. Of course. We will. Okay, I think it's just the bathhouse left now. Hello there, old man. Oh, ho. glad you could make it. So, you're the little uh, whippersnappers the boss roped in, eh? Huh? W wait, you're... Unbelievable. You were the old leecher I reported for peeping. Huh? That's a strong way to put it. Certainly. Wasn't EC wriggling my way out of that one. But you see, that request was actually made for a different purpose entirely. Does that make you the um, old timer Margaret was referring to? Me? I'm... Just your average geezer who fancies a visit to the bath now and then. Save for my service as a core member of the Bells of Freedoms three years back. Aren't you imagine an old man like you was a revolutionary? And again, I guess it's not a so strange considering Margaret was your boss. To be fair, the group was originally founded by a bunch of old folks. With not much time left. We figured that our deaths would be a small price to pay for the brighter future of our youths. Now it seemed our blunder was has led them down the wrong path altogether in the end. Yeah, the path of petty theft and burglary. As if you didn't already know. Sounds to me like you ain't much of a core member anymore though. Yes, the resistance dissolved for a time following Margaret's arrests. But the young ones of the group continued to operate under the fold. Under the fold. I'd been acting as their advisor of sorts in an effort to keep their hostility in check. But ultimately, my attempts to contain them failed miserably. Perhaps I could have. Well, that their vindictive thirst had I succeeded. I see, but what is 
the resistance trying to achieve here exactly? Doesn't seem like Margot's anywhere around here either. It uh, would seem they're ready to attack the garrison post in each and every district. This revolt from the knights has queued them in one perfect opportunity to take back Gilead. In preparation to do so, they've been collecting intel and identifying blind spots. The request I made previously falls really under the ladder. <laughs> what a load of crook. Doesn't matter how much chaos there is. You gotta have real bricks for brains to think a Roman soldier is gonna lose to some civilians. They've hardly got weapons or armor to start. One step and they're toast. That is, unless they got an ace up their sleeve. Unfortunately so, Margot appears to be assisting them. Not directly, but in supplies both through equipment and stores of gunpowder. What? Oh, why? It would seem she intends to see this matter through. To the bitter end. She's convinced starting this by her hand gives her the burden of ending it all as well. Margaret. Hm. Can't really say for sure. If it's on her either way. But she... Was... She has to want to stop it. At least... Why else would she put in a, re a request in? That means it's up to us to do something about this. Any helpful info would be much appreciated. We have a responsibility to help too. And then naturally, I plan to give it. That is why I've been waiting here for you all. Here's my take on this, as long as a standing member of the resistance. There's only one place in the city powder and weapons could be viably concealed. It would have to be underground and spacious enough to spare as well. Is any peculiar spot coming to mind? I think I have a decent idea. Considering everything else we found out, we should be able to narrow it down. Thank you very much, Mr. Gundy? Gundow? Not at all. I'm too old to raise a hand against these youngsters anymore. It's up to the next generation to carry on our torch. So please, stop them before it's too late to give them the chance. <laughs> After going to all three locations in the message, you all return to the dandelion. You then 
recommend with Dodi and Parks. Who would have thought those people we knew were resistant members all this time? Been uh, blending in, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. And uh, if there's nowhere to be seen. We should assume there is the final stage of setting their plan into motion. We're running out of time. Yes, time is of the essence. With the information you've gathered, we now know where most of their hideouts are located. Puaka Maxima in the shanty town there's been shady people seen going in and out of that area right yep and we got proof of it for insurance we got witness who saw the custom guy and alex from the visitor kiosk It's a done deal then. Good work, you two. Can't take all the credit. You're the ones who did all the legwork. Madame Marget is there. We'll need to prepare ourselves. If they're truly intent to assault the Roman guard, hosts. We're counting on you, monstrums. Leave it to us. <laughs> Next up, Kuaka Maxima. Okay, sweet. So, I think I'm going to end off this episode here, though. I do hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.